Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Breezy Kicks, The Sneaker Fiend. Now today we're going over the Satin Snake Skin Jordan 1s. Before we get into the shoe, make sure if you are new to the channel, you subscribe. Hit that like button if you like the content. Follow me on Instagram at Breezy underscore Kicks 23. That being said, it's your boy Breezy Kicks. Let's get it. The Air Jordan 1 High OG Satin Snake is a brand new women's exclusive offering of the Air Jordan 1 Satin. This will be releasing this summer dressed in a gym red and white black color scheme. This Air Jordan 1 has a similar look to the OG Chicago colorway built with satin and snakeskin textured material. Look for the Air Jordan 1 High OG Women's Satin Snake to release on August 6th at select retailers. The retail price tag is set at $700. This is such a dope Jordan 1 to me and you already know resale is gonna be high. Now I'll also be giving you guys a store list in the description below. If it's not there when you're viewing it, give it a few days. Just sometimes takes me time to get that information, but that information will be up a few days before the release, no doubt. So make sure you guys are subscribed now before we get into resale and all that good stuff, let's just look over this shoe. The snakeskin look is what sets this shoe off for me and it's the reason why I think a lot of people are gravitating towards this colorway. The shoe looks a lot like the OG Chicago colorway so that is another reason why there's a lot of hype around the shoe. So you're pretty much getting a OG Chicago with different materials. Now this is a women's exclusive, but I think it's going up to a men's 13, which is always nice. I hate when the females complain about there being women's exclusive, but the sizes go up. Like for one, there are big chicks out there that- Oh shit, help me. Oh, shit. Big it is. Some tall chicks, man, that got big feet. <coughs> What's up, Craig? But also like, Come on, Jordan brand has a lot of male clientele and technically the Jordan one was made for a dude. So like, I don't know. I don't see why females are getting mad. Craig, damn, look, telephone. I feel like they don't feel as special because it says women's exclusive, but then they see guys get it too. Like, why you gotta hate? Why you gotta hate? Like, I really want this shoe. Like if it didn't come out my size, I'd be really sad. I would actually like start a petition and go against Jordan Brand because I know some big foot dudes who aren't able to get any of the women's exclusive and they hate it. Like they absolutely hate it. I'm just glad I'm in that average shoe range, you know, size 10. I'm pretty much good. Women's exclusive, men exclusive, like I'm gonna cop my pair. Well, maybe not cop my pair. I take a lot of L's on the sneakers app, but at least I can try. At least I can try. But anyway, you got the white underlays, got red running along the toe box area in a red leather material. The hill section, you got black snake skin type leather. Uh, again, the material looks absolutely dope. The quality just looks amazing. I really like it when Jordan Brand comes with this type of energy because they're trying new stuff. They're putting in high end materials. Uh, I just wish they had a better way of selling the shoes because really the sneakers app just isn't cutting it. They are. They need to fix that whole system. They need to find a way to make it more fair, more attainable, cause it's really getting out of hand. You got a red tongue with a black tag up at the top with the red Nike Air logo. Now the shoe does come with black laces. I'm curious to see if they're gonna throw in some white laces or some red laces. I personally think some gray laces would even look dope on this shoe. Got a red satin lining, black insole with the red Nike Air on that insole white midsole with a black solid outsole. Now, like I said, this shoe is gonna be releasing on the sneakers app. Now, there's no guaranteed way to get any shoe off the sneakers app. Like I said earlier in the video, sneakers app is kind of bogus, but I do think there are some tips and tricks to help you cop. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you preset all your information. Too many people sleep on this tip and I've been messaged multiple times of people telling me, hey man, I had my stuff preset a while ago and then when I went for the release, it made me put my password again. What's up with that? But what I like to do is right before the release, I go in, sign out of my account, sign back in and then reset all my settings put my size in, my billing information, shipping information, as well as select the thumbprint touch on 
That way you don't have to put your password in and you could just use your fingerprint. That saves a lot of time and I truly believe it helps you cop the shoe. With that being said, let's get into resale. Currently on StockX, the shoe's going for around $500. I can't see that price dropping a bit, but I honestly think there's gonna be some really high resale with this colorway. I can see this shoe going for $300 to $450 depending on the size. Now again, this is a women's exclusive and usually with women's exclusives, the higher sizes do better. So if you're going for highest resale, go for the higher sizes. Now another question I get all the time with women's exclusive is people wanna know the conversion from women's to men's. It's always gonna be the same. A women's 10 is going to be a men's eight and a half. So women's size is always one and a half higher than a men's. So if you wear a men's 10, you're gonna want a women's 11 and a half. But I really get confused with this question because you don't even need to change the settings on your phone. Preset your settings to either the size you want or your size, whatever you're going for. Say it's a men's 10, go set it up to a men's 10. The sneakers app will automatically do the conversion for you. So you will instantly go for a women's 11 and a half. So you don't really have to worry about it. Go in, set your stuff up. You don't have to change your account to female. Keep it the same, men's 10, and you will get a women's 11 and a half automatically. It saves a lot of time. Therefore, you're more likely to get the shoe. Let me know what you guys think of the shoe. Are you copying as a personal? Are you trying to resell? Let me know all that good stuff. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button if you like the content. Follow me on Instagram at breezy underscore kicks 23. That being said, it's your boy Breezy Kicks. We out. Black tab up in the top with the Nike. Man. You got a red tongue with a black tab up at the top with a black man. Mm. And it's the reason I think a lot of people are gravitating. <laughs> and it's a and it's a reason I think a lot of people are gravitating towards this. Mm. <sighs> One of them days, man. <sighs> I don't trust no one but a guy that we trust, nigga. If we gettin' rated, everything is getting flushed. I done had 12 through that shit more than once, nigga. If I gotta go and make a move, best believe it's getting done, nigga. Uh, best believe it's getting done. Huh? Best believe it's getting done.